bone will respond to the load. It's a low load, repeated load. Walking, routine walking and cardio probably will not have that much impact yeah. on the bone because bone needs demand. Demand means weight-bearing exercises. It doesn't mean lifting heavy weights. Small amounts of weight, probably half kg, and repeated, repetitive. It has to be probably every day, maybe 20, 30 minutes, five days in a week. Um, so weight-bearing exercises are very important for the upper body, lower body. For example, you can do a rowing machine on a low resistance, probably 20 minutes. That will put the entire body under load and it's very good for bone as well as swimming. Swimming also puts entire body exercises or gentle exercises. I mean, off kg dumbbells in each, each hand you take a few times or maybe 10, 20 minutes every day. That will help. What happens? It will help not only the bone, it will help muscle become stronger because muscle health is directly related to the bone health. Okay. Muscles become strong, bones automatically become strong. Muscle put a lot of load on the bone and bones become healthy and joints also become healthy. I think one factor what I want to say everyone is when we are walking, it's not only the body weight that passes through the knee joints. It's about eight times of the body weight. When you're going up and down stage, 15 times of body weight passes through the knee joints. When you sit on the floor and get up, it's about 15 to 18 times. So what happens is if your muscles are strong, bones are strong, 50% of the weight should be taken through the muscles and 50% will go through the joints. That way what happens, the joints are protected by keeping strong bones and muscles.